yeah, 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 woo! Hi guys, welcome to Leave Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I'm not. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of was and I came home and let's just say there's some shit going on behind the scenes of the channel that uh, it's annoying, but it's just YouTube shit. So we're gonna be listening to a request from our supporter, Mark M. Thank you for your support, Mark. I really appreciate it, brother. Um, and it is a artist named Ted Nugent. I believe he's a guitarist. Um, it is uh, the song called Stranglehold. And it is live from 1976, if I believe so. Yeah, I think so, yeah. It is a live performance. And uh, I've heard of him, obviously. Um, I don't know if he like played in a band uh, or anything like that. I just know he's like a famous guitarist. So let's do it. If you guys are not subscribed, please help a brother out. Click the icon right down there, somewhere right there. I really appreciate it. It takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free. And it really helps channel out. It really, really does, guys. Thank you so much for all the support you've shown me. I really appreciate it. All right. Stranglehold by Ted Nugent Live. Three, two, one. Go. Honestly, I swear I've heard that rip before. I swear I've heard this before on Supernatural. <laughs> I love the energy these guys have. What?
啊。There's so much like drama in his performance. I love it. Sometimes you wanna get higher. Sometimes you wanna start low. Some people think they're gonna die someday. I got news, you never got to go. Come on, come on up, hit me, man! Come on, come on up, ah! Come on, come on up, suck it! Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on up! Come on, come on, come on, come on, baby! No! Such a good chorus.
Well, I guess it's a few minutes of this song, too. That's not fair. This is gonna end like a couple seconds into it. We're gonna enjoy it while we can. No, it's not the end. Well, that was just what the doctor ordered for like 30 seconds. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That was a powerhouse of, of a performance. Um, like I said, this is like my first exposure to these guys and, uh, Dude, wow. Um, I'm guessing Ted Nugent was the guy with uh, the vest on. I'm going to get my personnel list up. Um, I had it up. Uh, but dude, that he was incredible. Just the way that his technique and his like stamina, the extra just emotion and over-exaggerated just everything that he was doing. Like That was such an aw- It was so freaking cool. I got to look that up real quick just so I have everyone's name right. Uh, oh, it was right there. It's the number one thing that pops up, too. It's from the album Ted Nugent. And... Da, 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 da. All right, there it is. So Ted Nugent, obviously, is lead in rhythm guitar backing vocals. Uh, Derek St. Holmes is lead vocals. Um, Rob Grange on the bass. And Cliff Davies on the drums. Wait, isn't... Cliff Davies... Oh, never mind. I thought we'd seen him before. But yeah, man, dude, the, I cannot get over how just that over-exaggerated thing that Ted was doing the entire time, it just had me completely just entranced, bro. Like, I wasn't listening to the drums. I wasn't listening to the bass. Honestly, because I couldn't hear it because it was really bad quality. I think the only video quality I could find was 240p. So you know that's some shit. But no matter ba how bad the quality of the video was, the, the guitar playing completely shined through from both of them. I'm, I'm guessing... All right, so Derek St. Holmes was the other guy, and then Ted obviously was the main guy. Uh, it's just the the backing of the vocals, like them going back and forth for the chorus, and like him singing like right next to him on his mic and everything like that. Like, dude, the energy and the just all cohesiveness of those two really made that video for me because you really didn't see anybody else with them two, to be honest. So uh, that's all I really had. Um, but that was just so good, man. Like they had like kind of like dueling rhythm and lead going back and forth and just that solo like multiple solos like that dude can fucking shred man thank you for showing me that mark because i uh i had heard the name ted nugent a bunch you know but i had never listened to them or anything like that or even like honestly knew anything about him till now and uh now i feel kind of ashamed because that was that was incredible honestly uh he was just pulling some sick licks off and honestly I think it really was just that dramatic performance that really sold it for me. That was just, the song itself was great. Like I said, I think I'd heard it in Supernatural before, at least the chorus. I remember it was actually, I think, them driving the Impala car in the show, and that song was playing. I remember that vividly in my mind, and it was it left an impression on me, just that chorus did. So that's the only part of the song I'd heard before, but the rest of it was great too. I'm guessing there was some live improvisation as well for it, and it's probably different if, if for the studio version or anything, but... Mark specified that he wanted a live version from 1976, and so I go. Here we are. Um, yeah, man. Like I said, I didn't really hear the bass or the drums that much. Like I, there was like this sort of like drum line sort of fill that he had while uh, the guy, the solo was going on, but that was all I really caught because the quality was for me was pretty bad, and all I really heard in either ear was the guitars and the vocals. But that's honestly all you need in this song because they fucking killed it. That was so good. <laughs> I'm gonna have that chorus stuck in my head now for the whole entire night. And I'm fine with that, because that was a great chorus. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I definitely get Thank you again, Mark, for the request and support. I really appreciate you, brother. Uh, I'll have your other one done in a day or two. Um, I think that's it. If you guys didn't know, we have a Patreon right here. Go check it out. Um, I am definitely not receiving ad money from a lot of these videos now, because somebody went down and, like, yeah, not good. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that Patreon is definitely much appreciated, and we officially have hit 200 members on there as well, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, thank you so much, guys. You guys are literally uh, angels sent from above, um, and I really appreciate the support. If you want to get one free request a month, join the $10 tier or up. 
Um, that is uh, one way to do it, but you can also do the PayPal link in the description. That's how Mark sent this request in. Uh, that's the most direct and best way to support the channel, and it is mostly needed. Uh, well, muchly needed, honestly. Um, I had an interview today, so I probably won't know for a couple days if it went uh, well or not. Honestly, it fit like it went well in the moment, um, but I don't know. I have not been having luck with these interviews lately, and it's not even me. Like I'm just always me, you know. But I just I always feel like the person I'm talking to, I can't talk to them. Like, I don't know, man. I swear a lot of people these days are just sort of like NPCs almost, if you know what that means. Like, non-playable characters are just sort of there. There's nothing really going on upstairs. Like, I don't know what's really going on, man. It's weird. Like, I feel like I'm dumbing myself down to talk to them. And I, I don't, like, mean to sound elitist or anything like that at all. I don't feel like I'm that intelligent to begin with. But, like... I really feel like I'm dumbing myself down just to, like, communicate with these people, and it's killing me, man. Um, I really need this job, so I, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to keep looking. Um, but, yeah, I think that's it out of me, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.